Hello, friends. This is a Radio Free Cannabis special bulletin. Our regular podcast episodes will be back after a short break. As of today, January 4th, I have ended my leadership role and employment relationship with Harborside Incorporated. Moving forward, I'll continue my work to expand the range of cannabis knowledge and freedom with a focus on ESG opportunities. I wish Harborside the very best as it continues to promote wellness and destigmatize cannabis. Almost 14 years ago, a small band of fanatically dedicated cannabis activists launched Harborside Health Center. Our vision was to build a gold standard medical cannabis dispensary. And the opportunity to make that vision real came in 2006 when the city of Oakland awarded us one of the first six commercial cannabis licenses issued in the United States. Over time, we achieved the original vision and much more. Harborside became the first cannabis company to feature lab-tested cannabis, the first company to sell CBD-rich products, and the first company to serve a child with intractable epilepsy. We were the first to welcome the news media into our shop, and we were the subject of the first reality TV show about legal cannabis. Our design ethic and service model became the role model for other dispensaries across the country. And when the federal government attacked the industry, we became its foremost defender. We won more awards than I can possibly remember, and a complete list of Harborside's other accomplishments would be far too long to include in this statement. Today, Harborside has grown from one nonprofit retail location to many locations, added cultivation and branded products to its operations, and become a for profit, publicly traded company. The credit for these accomplishments belongs primarily to my co founders and to the many dedicated employees who bravely came to work, even in the face of U.S. government threats, to shut us down. Being their leader has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank each and every one of them for their hard work and the confidence they've had in me. It's been tremendously gratifying to watch many of my coworkers grow into new opportunities outside of Harborside and become major leaders of the legal industry. And now the time has come for me to join them. Moving forward, I'll continue my advocacy work with The Last Prisoner Project and Radio Free Cannabis, and I'll pursue business opportunities that are consistent with my values. No matter what, I will always do everything I can to push forward the global frontiers of cannabis knowledge, cannabis culture, and cannabis freedom. I will have no further immediate public comments on Harborside. Always onward, forever free.